So next to polyhalogen compounds. Polyhalogen compounds. So alkyl halides having more than one halogen atom. So here different polyhalogen compounds are there. Coming to first one, iodoform. Iodoform formula CHI3 having three iodine atoms in it. Okay, this is a polyhalogen compound which is formed, which is prepared from alcohol. Okay, by the action of iodine in presence of alcohol. And earlier it is used as antiseptic. Iodoform is used as antiseptic. Actually it is a yellow color crystalline solid. But having non bearable odor. Okay. So due to unpleasant odor of it. Nowadays it is not used as antiseptic. Earlier days it is used as antiseptic. Okay, so that is one of the use of iodoform. But nowadays, it is not used due to its bad odor. Okay, next coming to chloroform. So, CHCl3 having three halogen atoms in it. Okay, and uh, chloroform, it is used in the preparation of freons, chlorofluorocarbons. Okay, then... Chloroform having many uses. For example, chloroform when gets treated with the nitric acid. HNO3. HNO3 is nitric acid. Okay. So it is written here as OHNO2. This is a nitric acid. So chloroform gets reacts with the nitric acid and it forms chloropicrin. So, chloropicrine is a poisonous liquid and it is used as warfare gas, used in the time of wars and also it is used as insecticide, okay. So, warfare gas and also insecticide, chloropicrine. So, chloroform it is used in the preparation of chloropicrine, okay. Then, one more use of uh, chloroform. So, when chloroform gets treated with the acetone, this is acetone, it undergoes condensation. Okay? So, this is a condensation reaction. So, in condensation reaction, we get chloritone. Okay? Condensation reaction takes place in presence of potassium hydroxide. Okay, reagent here used is potassium hydroxide. And we get chloritone. Chloritone is a hypnotic medicine. This is used as hypnotic. Okay. So, this is another use of chloroform. Then, coming to purity of chloroform. Purity. So, generally, purity of chloroform that is tested with the silver nitrate. Okay. So with the addition of silver nitrate. So pure chloroform. It does not form precipitate with the silver nitrate. Why? Because chloroform is a covalent compound. Okay. So that's why pure chloroform does not form precipitate with the silver nitrate. Okay. So purity is checked with silver nitrate. So chloroform in pure state, it does not form precipitate, white color precipitate with the chloroform. Why? Because it is a covalent compound. Okay. <coughs> That's why it does not release Cl minus ions in it. It is a covalent compound. So, it does not uh, form precipitate. Okay. If it forms precipitate, that means chloroform is in impure state. Okay. So, what is the reagent used to check purity? Silver nitrate. Okay. Then, chloroform. Chloroform earlier days, it is uh, used as anesthetic agent also. 
anesthetic agent. But nowadays it is replaced with the, some other anesthetic agents. Okay. And uh, inhaling chloroform in excess, it leads to headache and also it damages central nervous system. Okay. Excess of chloroform. Okay. It is somewhat uh, harmful to central nervous system and it leads to headache, dizziness. Okay. All that. Next, methylene chloride. Another polyhalogen compound. So its formula is CH2Cl2 having two chlorine atoms in it. And the main uses of methylene chloride is it is used as solvent, paint remover. And excess of methylene chloride, it also causes harmless. Harmless to human central nervous system. And uh, exposure of methylene chloride, okay, more exposure of methylene chloride. It leads to impairing hearing and also vision. Okay. Then higher levels of methylene chloride. It causes dizziness and numbness. Okay. Next, carbon tetrachloride. Formula CCL. Okay. Having four chlorine atoms. So, its main use is, it is a good solvent, good organic solvent. Carbon tetrachloride is a good organic solvent. And it is used as a refrigerant and also propellant for aerosol cans. Then, carbon tetrachloride that is mainly used in the preparation of chlorofluorocarbons, freons. Okay? And... More exposure causes liver cancer. Carbon tetrachloride. More exposure of carbon tetrachloride. It causes liver cancer. Okay. And it also causes dizziness, headache. Hmm? And uh, now it damages the nerve cells. Okay. Many harms are, are also, uh, harms also there. Okay. If we excess of uh, chloroform is there, uh, excess of carbon tetrachloride is there. It also leads to damage nerves and also causes headache, dizziness, okay, all that. And also it irritates eyes, okay, carbon tetrachloride, excess of carbon tetrachloride, it, it also irritates the eyes, okay. Next, freons. Next to freons. Freons are chlorofluorocarbons having different halogen atoms, chlorine, fluorine. Okay. And the freons also comes under polyhalogen compounds. And uh, freons used as aerosol propellants and refrigeration air condition purpose. And some harmless is also there with the freons. So freons causes depletion of ozone layer. And uh, different types of freons are there. Freon 12, Freon 22, okay. So, all these are different types of freons, okay, which are also polyhalogen compounds. Next, uh, DDT. Its common name is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. Dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane then i according to iu back norms we can write 1 comma 1 comma 1 trichloro 2 comma 2 bis 4 chlorophenyl ethane so this is iu back name okay so commonly dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane that is ddt and its structure is like this. Dichlorodiphenyl. So, this is chlorophenyl. Okay. Attached to carbon. So, dichlorophenyl. Okay. So, dichlorodiphenyl. And uh, to the next carbon, three chlorine atoms are linked. So, trichloro. And main chain having 
two carbon atoms. Root word is it. Okay. So dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane. Okay. And perfect IUPAC name is this one. One comma one comma one trichloro two comma two bis four chlorophenyl ethane. Okay. And the main use of it. This is the very first chlorinated organic insecticide. Okay. So DDT use. Main use of it is first chlorinated organic insecticide. It is a good insecticide. Okay. So all these are different polyhalogen compounds. Okay. Next uh, some objective bits regarding to polyhalogen compounds.